Dante. Back with another video. Can't tell by the title. We're doing a spring cut. So it's April 1st, probably the first day of um, April. So we'll be able to go for the next 30 days until May and then another 30 days until June. I feel like this is the perfect time to start the series. Um, I was going to be coming in here and just doing straight cardio, but because of time, you know, the things I got to take care of during the day, it would just make more sense for me to go ahead and get my workout in during the morning and then um, come back here later and do my 30 minutes of cardio so I can get my daily cardio in. Or after this, just go over to LA Fitness and hop on the stair climber or just be better, um, more time effective. I'm trying to get a bit better with stretching and warming up. Um, even though it's just a chest day, I'm not really gonna be using my legs too much. I don't really have the best knees. So trying to just be better every morning, just stretching. I had my coffee already, so the heart rate's kind of increased. I got some good energy. Not really as tired as I was a little bit earlier. But like I said, this series, you guys are gonna be able to join pretty much along with me. Um, I wanted to do more daily, at least throughout the week, videos so you guys can follow along and um, you know work out with me essentially during during these uh, next couple of weeks. So you guys, you know, if you're trying to get in shape for the summer, you know, build muscle, lose fat, whatever your goals are, you know, you'll be able to follow me along while I'm doing it for the most part. Um, and I feel like this would be something pretty good to start up and. Like I said, it would just be more time effective for me to come in here and work out for an hour than, you know, come back after work, you know, on top of the schoolwork and stuff I got to take care of. I'm coming up on finals, you know, it's, it's coming up on graduation, really. So um, it's important that I use my time the best way that I can. And with that, you know, I also have to pay attention to what it is I want to do. And I wanna record for you guys, and get content out for y'all, um, you know, and just be a creative in general. So I gotta make time to do that. It's pretty, pretty early, it's around 6.45, maybe right before seven. Um, I was up around 5.30, I should've, should've gotten up earlier. But, you know, we'll see how the day goes, how efficient I can be, and, you know, play the next day by how the day went and how much time I had to take care of what, I, what it was I needed to. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get into our main workout after I finish up warming up and, and these push-ups. All right, we went into our first working set. I just warmed up with the 45s. I didn't really do too, too many reps. I'm trying to see what we're starting off with. Let's go with the 70s. All right, so shoot for four sets on here. It's an incline. Not too much of an incline though, but but like 70s will be pretty good to work with. Starting off for the first working set. pretty easy to do. I need to move up for sure. That was kind of like a 
I say, the 90s. With his next set, and we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so like I said, man, I'm in here, I'm doing this fasted, so there's no coffee, or well, all I've had is coffee in my system, uh, no food. Um, I'm gonna be working out fasted for the most part too. One of the benefits of working out fasted is that your body essentially targets fat uh, more as an energy source than it would for carbohydrates. Now, there was a study that was done to test whether or not there was a difference in, you know, when someone ate, you know, if they ate before working out or after working out, and then how much time they took between working out and eating specifically after. And it was a study that was done uh, to where one group of people ate immediately after working out, and the next group of people ate two hours after working out. And the results, in terms of their muscle growth were that there was no noticeable difference between the two people that ate, you know, one immediately after working out and the other two hours after working out. However, um, it's recommended that specifically if you're doing workouts fasted, that you do eat something, you know, relatively soon after working out, you know, so your, so your body can rebuild and your muscles have uh, the energy it needs um, to be able to recover, essentially, and come out, back out the next day. All right, that being said, moving into this second set, shoot for eight to 12, um, see how it goes. <laughs> with the 90s, say it went pretty smooth. It was pretty easy, honestly, to be able to hit 12 with these. So the highest we can go up to in here is a, is a 100 pound dumbbells. So it seems like I'm gonna have to finish out my last two sets with those. Now, honestly, it's been a minute since I came and did some fasted workouts of any kind. I started really fast cardio. I've been doing fast cardio. But fasted workouts, no no type of food, carbs or anything before the workout. Definitely been a rare few times that I've done that. Outside of when I was playing baseball. Um, I played baseball in college for a bit. And that was probably the most I worked out in the morning, early morning, without eating. Um, and definitely would eat a bunch after. And I'll also add on to that, I saw a lot of growth. I saw a lot of um, muscle growth and strength gains. You know, when I would get a great workout in the morning and then have me some, some eggs, turkey sausage, just go to the cafeteria, call it the calf, go to the calf and um, really just tear that food up. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Too much talking. We got to get into this next set. My knees hurt. <laughs> Why do my knees hurt when I'm doing chest? Getting old. Oh. Don't break the mic. Oh boy, a 
I'll tell you, that was a rough one. Ah. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. Boy, oh boy. All right, man, I feel like y'all seen me do it 10 times. See, I can't say I'm, I'm weak anymore, you know? I feel like you gotta, you gotta have some type of stats to be able to come in here and lift. 100 pound dumbbells 10 times. I won't say I even say that. That doesn't, that doesn't matter at all. Everything I just said for the last 15 seconds, just disregard that. It does not matter how much weight you lift in, as long as you control it. You know, sometimes you gotta check yourself. Cause it's cool, I come in here lifting 100 if I'm not controlling it and feeling it the whole time. It does look good though. <laughs> Oh, I'm just stalling for this next set. I feel like with the camera on me, there's a couple reasons why I gotta make sure I'm working out. One, because y'all watching at home, I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm, I'm setting the example. And two, because my phone battery and my storage but I'm feeling great right now. Like I'm feeling a great pump. I'm feeling like I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. And I guess that's always the goal when you're in here. All that being said, it's time to man up. If I can get the weight up here. Here's a pro tip. It's better to stand up. Put it on your knee like that. And then you can use your knees or your legs to kind of kick it up and, and give you like a, a spot, essentially, so you can get the weight up and go ahead and wrap it out. All that being said, last set, let's get it. tank now we about to do a dumbbell circuit keeping the incline I might just do everything incline from now on to really work the parts of our chest is gonna stick out the most but all right, that being said I'll probably pick up some 45s go ahead jump into this